And greetings and salutations. So this is something I've been meaning to do for quite some time. But it's just one of those things that uh, never got done. That's swapping out the motor mounts. Hmm. Who did I get these from? Daystar, I think. These are Daystar motor mounts. And they use a polyurethane insert. That... In my humble opinion, is far superior to the stock motor mounts. These use a polyurethane bushing with a, um, a metal thing here in the middle. What do you call that? A sleeve. A metal sleeve that pushes into a piece of tubing here. That's more like a like a spring eye bushing. In fact, that's probably what you would replace it with when this goes bad. The advantage to using this type of motor mount is that you can replace the, the, the urethane bushing when the bushing fails, and it will fail. So this is a fairly simple job. You've got a bolt, a nut, and the uh, engine mount bolt, the actual bolt that bolts this to the engine. Three bolts, two, or actually two bolts and a nut. So here on the uh, driver's side, or the left side of the vehicle, I've taken the airbox out. You've got this bolt right here. The nut that deposes this is on the other side. You gotta get it from underneath. I'll show you that. And then you got this uh, bolt right here. It goes through both halves of the engine mount. And that's it. The hardest part is just accessing it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If we move over, this is actually the easy side. If we move over to this side, you gotta get through all that nonsense to get to it. I mean, the bolts aren't that difficult, but just fishing everything down in there can be kind of a P-I-T-A if you get what I'm stepping in. So to access this side, I got a half an inch on a wobble extension. And where's my, where's my tool? All right, let me wander around here for the next 20 minutes looking for, there it is. Sorry, fellas, I need two hands to do this. I'll be right back. Eighteen millimeter. Now we gotta go underneath. Done with a fifteen and wobble extension and get the third fastener out of the out of the motor mount. <sighs> Yay. You wanna put a block of wood on them like a sheet of plywood or or something like this on the bottom of your oil panel so you don't crush it. <clears throat> you need to lift the engine up a little bit off that bolt to release the uh, tension on the motor mount. That's taking a little bit of tension off the bolt so I can get the bolt out. That's it. Now, I can get the motor mount out. 
Easier said than done. There we go. Wow. I thought this one was good. It is chowdered, and the one on the other side looks just as bad. These stock motor mounts have this top strap, and the rubber doesn't go all the way to the top of the strap. This is more like just a, a strap to collect the carnage when the rubber breaks loose. That's, that's it. That's the only thing that's holding your engine into your XJ. And this engine mount is roughly six years old and the one on the other side I replaced a couple years ago when I did the overhaul. These are garbage. We take this nut out of the old motor mount, keep the nut, throw this away, and then uh, just install this in the reverse fashion. tight but that's okay I might need to get a little hammer and tappy tappy that in It's a new day and I didn't get that uh, I didn't get that motor mount installed I must have tried for two hours it was well into the night uh, nine o'clock I came inside after I discovered why I could not get that bolt through that center hole I pried and I pried and I'm loose and bolts and let's just say it wasn't for lack of effort there's the mount. Here's the outer mount that bolts to the engine. This ledge right here needs to get ground back about a half an inch on both sides. This is a machine surface and they didn't machine it back far enough. They mean machined it back far enough to accommodate the regular motor mount, but this needs to come back about another half an inch. To clear that yeah quarter inch so the motor mounts were coming up against that that edge and would go no further so I shall modificate that
so there you go just grind a little bit of meat away and now it fits now I get to go put this thing back on Yahtzee. <sighs> Yahtzee. This side doesn't need any modifications to the engine side mount. The engine half doesn't need to be modified at all. Let's go ahead and throw that mount in. But expect there to be alignment issues um i've been digging around with this for I don't know, half an hour or so trying to get the, the uh new motor mounts to line up with the holes in the subframe i've had to use a ratchet strap to pull the engine back and forth and forward and use the jack to jack stuff up and drop things down you have to lift your engine by the oil pan make sure you got it supported by a block of wood so you don't crush it that's going to open up a whole nother can of worms if you don't I ended up getting this side in place first loosely attaching the bolts and then i came over to this side put the engine mount in so i don't have it i don't have this tight well there's weight on it now but the the, the uh, cross bolt isn't tightened down I use that ratchet strap to move the engine back and forth and fore and aft with applying pressure with the ratchet strap and finally got it to drop in. That might not be a 20 minute job for you. For me it was several hours. That's just the way it goes here. Everything's a freaking struggle. Everything's difficult. That's okay. It builds character. So now I gotta go through and put all the nuts and bolts on and tighten things down. We'll come back and we'll look at these old motor mounts and see just how chowdered they were. Because they were pretty chowdered. Alright, well here's the motor mounts. Like, this is the uh, right side. This one's the left side. This one was replaced two years ago. This one was replaced six years ago. I took the straps that uh, hold the two halves together off. Without those, if your motor mounts fail, the motor just flops around freely. There's nothing to hold the motor in place. Look at this one. Hanging by a thread. And then this one. Oh, that's awesome. And I think this was the passenger side, the uh, right side. Totally delaminated from this, the, uh, the center pin and from the rubber itself. So those were out of garbage. No wonder the engine moved around enough to nick uh, that AC line and uh, 
That's why I lost my AC. I'll put the part number down in the description. If I could find uh, a source on Amazon for these uh, new style motor mounts, I'll, I'll put them down there. So, uh, yeah, that's today's video. Hope you liked it. If you did, smash the like button, share it with your vast social media network. If you haven't done so yet, consider subscribing. Click the bell icon, check the box, do all the things that you need to do to get post notifications. Uh, again, check the links in the description for products and tools that I use to do these jobs. So until next time, you have fun, stay safe, shoot straight, keep it powder dry, have a splendid day. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.